you're short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Cliff Whitney here, and we have a very cool box for you today. And uh, it's the new Matrice 210. We've actually had them about a week and been having a lot of good fun with it, but we figured we would finally break one open and give you just a little quick open box tour. I've uh, got Greg Ledford with me. You can step over there to the right. He's the head of my technical department. He knows more than most people out there on all this drone stuff. So I brought him in today for the highly technical task of opening the box. So high end work. Right it here. is high end work. You know, the box is. Um, it's almost 40 pounds. I have a rule that you need to keep the blades pushed in all the time. That rule comes from experience, but uh, we'll slide that out of there. So what we see as soon as we open, we've got a couple side panels. Yeah. Some chrome inserts come out of the box. Single gimbal connector, Matrice 200 series GPS kit. And what do you got there? Dual downward gimbal connector. That's cool. kind of the magic that everybody's looking for right there. Two cameras, as we know. A couple of manuals. A couple of manuals, some propaganda. And then I'm seeing a uh, case. Pop those over there. I'll get the box out of the way for you. Looks nice. Spin around. Yeah, cool. No? Yeah. Got a cool little label on it. Got to have that. Very nice. Serial numbers. And uh, pop it down. Let's see what we got. Nice latch. Nice, nice case, yeah. This is different than the prototype case I saw. I got to play with one of these a couple of months ago at a dealer event, and it was really, really nice. So um, let's take a look at exactly what we got inside. All right, so taking a look in the case, if you pop the back up, what we got there? We got obviously uh, some legs and then some props here on top. Coming on down in, these look like batteries for the Crystal Sky display. Charger, some aircraft batteries, aircraft battery, the actual Crystal Sky display. Comes with a nice seven inch Crystal Sky, which is a fantastic tablet, by the way. We've had great luck with them. Even here in Georgia, in all the heat, where it's been upwards of 100, 110 degrees out in our training field. And one beast of a transmitter. DJI has delivered the new Sendence remote control, which has a tremendous amount of features on it. We'll go over each of those in a uh, little later video for you, but this will make single operator a lot easier. Of course, we always advocate dual operators for safety, but really looking forward to this. I was really happy to see that they included the new Sendence controller with it, so it's going to be nice. Also in the case, uh, of course, you've got batteries. Now the battery fits on the Crystal Sky display. And due to some nice engineering, they also included the same battery will fit on the new Sendence controller. So that makes it really nice. It's got a dual battery charger in the case over here. And then, of course, the batteries for the helicopter itself. Now the new Matrice 200, 210, and 210 RTK will fly with TB-50s or the new TB-55s. Now when they release this, and since these are the very first ones in the U.S., they haven't quite figured out how they're going to go about shipping the new TB-55s. They're large batteries. So the kit comes with two TB-50s and two TB-55s. The TB-55s just have not shipped yet. So all of the back orders that we've been shipping over the past week or eight or nine days only have TB-50s. Uh, Greg's going to go ahead and pop up one of the legs on just to show you how it works. It fits in uh, really nice. So they have a little hole on each side of the leg. Looks as if you just slide it in there. Latch Close goes the latch. down. Kind of looks like a transformer. <laughs> it does. Even it's... more so than the Inspire 2. Definitely got a lot more engineering than the previous aircraft. And there you have it set up. When I had the opportunity to play with a 
an early version of this, still prototype. It was up in Raleigh, North Carolina. They were doing a, a demo and some search and rescue and a lot of other things. And the thing that impressed me about the flight characteristics of this, and I love the way the Inspire 2 flies, is that that particular day it was a beautiful blue sky, white clouds, but it was blowing very, very strong. As a matter of fact, at certain parts of the day, some of the search and rescue guys that were there said that it was gusting to over 50 knots. Now, that's not something we would recommend that you fly in, but the crew there from DJI actually flew multiple versions of the Matrice 210 in all that high gusting wind. So, you know, it was blowing 20 consecutively, 25, but gusting very, very high. I was extremely impressed with how this thing works. A couple other things to consider, and then we'll uh, do another quick little video for you showing how it, how it flies, is that with the TB50s installed, you really only want to fly it with the front mounted camera or the top mounted camera up on the top. As you know, it comes standard with the single mount, so you can put one camera on the front. The dual mount is with it, so you can mount two cameras at one time, either the X5S, the X4S, the new Z30, or the FLIR XT infrared cameras. But a word of caution right out of the box, because I know you guys are interested in flying quickly. Don't mount two cameras up front and fly it with the TB50s. It really needs some aft CG, and the TB55s will provide that added weight. Feel free to fly it with the camera on top. Feel free to fly it with the camera up front, X4S, X5S, and just have a little bit of patience to the X or the, the TB55s come out. So, looks pretty cool. Let's uh, finish with one and uh, take it out for a spin. Show them how it all works. Thanks for watching, guys.